It's so sad and heartbreaking to see the end of Catmill, one of the best love themes in the Philippines. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the rise and fall of Catnell, how the love team started, the rumors that caused their breakup, and how it all ended. Kindly don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla, often referred to as Catnell, were a beloved Filipino celebrity couple. Catherine was born on 26th March 1996 and is a versatile actress, model, and singer from Cabanatua Nerva Ejeta in the Philippines. She has been a prominent figure in Philippian showbiz since her childhood, starring in popular TV series like Endless Love and Mara Clara. Daniel Padilla was also born on 26th April 1995 and is a renowned Filipino actor, model and musician. Starting his career at a young age, he became a household name in the Philippines. Catherine and Daniel's on-screen chemistry translated into a real-life romance and they officially became a couple in 2012. Their relationship had endured a lot and they celebrated their 11th anniversary recently, captivating the hearts of many with their talent and love story. Fans eagerly anticipate updates on their personal and professional journey together. Catherine and Daniel first worked together in the Youth Oriented series Growing Up, which aired from September 2011 to February 2012. Catherine and Daniel then led their first time prime series Princess and I in 2012 and over a 10 months run, the show topped the evening ratings and grew a huge fan base, establishing Catnell as a love team. The two have since been on multiple blockbuster projects together, from the 2014 film She's Dating the Gangster to the 2018 film The House of Us, La Luna Sangri, Panga Ko Sayo, and their last big project was the 2022 series Too Good to Be True, which premiered on free television and on Netflix. The Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla's breakup issue has been going on for quite a while. It has made headlines in several weeks and Cardinal fans were already starting to blame another controversial TV personality. Andrea Brillantis for the couple's split and misunderstandings. It's worth remembering that earlier last month, rumors were spreading like wildfire that Daniel Padilla was reportedly secretly meeting with actress Andrea Brillantis. This was shared by entertainment reporter Ogia Diaz, but was never confirmed. Earlier last month, Ogia Diaz alleged that the power couple had broken up and that Daniel and Andrea have been seeing each other secretly. He then asserted in a follow-up video that it was not him who started the speculations about Catnell's separation and the actor being linked to Andrea, while saying that the claims were unconfirmed. The room was heightened after eagle-eyed netizens noticed that Catherine and Andrea unfollowed each other on Instagram. It was also revealed that Catherine's celebrity friends, TV host Robbie Domingo and actress T. Filomino unfollowed both Daniel and Andrea, while fellow actress Loisa Andalu and Maus Ocampo only unfollowed Andrea. All of them are friends of Catherine Bernardo. For the last couple of years, Kat and DJ have been rumored to have broken up multiple times. However, they may have packed things up and worked it out in the past, but this time this wasn't the case anymore. Andrea, also known as Bleed, may have been dragged into this problem. Knowing about the teen actress's predicament, it was easy to put her as the villain in the story. Regardless, Catherine still has love for Daniel as she even protests their privacy and never mentions any real reason why they are falling apart from each other. At this point, it's time to move forward. Everything about Catnell became only a rumor until Catherine confirmed in an Instagram post on Thursday, 30th November 2023, what the fans of Catnell had been dreading for months. It turns out that the rumors are actually true. The two are no longer a couple. The 27-year-old actress wrote in her caption while sharing an old photo of her and Daniel, chapter close, I hope this finally helps all of us move forward. I won't be entertaining questions regarding this anymore. Thank you for understanding. The photos posted also included a long statement from Catherine. And it reads, I have been in showbiz for almost 21 years now, 12 years as one half of Cardinal and 11 years as someone who loved DJ even behind the camera. 
I didn't grow up in this industry constantly being controlled and dictated on. I was lucky to have had the best guidance and support system when I started my career and I have continuously worked hard to earn people's trust. But since I became an adult, I took it upon myself to take charge of my own life, the projects I work on, the way I dress, the people I surround myself with. I have always tried to be my own person. I was encouraged to think for myself and decide for myself, even when it comes to love, especially when it comes to love. I promise to never lose myself in this industry, so I've always been as authentic to you as I can be. I know what many of you are thinking right now. I am well aware of the rumors and speculations going around. And as hard as it is to put everything into words, I want you to hear it straight from me. It's true that DJ and I have decided to part ways. What DJ and I had was real. It was never for sure. We were together not because of the cameras, not because of the fans, not because of the money that comes with a successful love team. We were genuinely in love. We grew up together, dreamed together, and so many of those dreams become a reality, still together. That's almost half of my life that I will never regret and will never trade for anything in the world. These are 11 years that brought me joy, adventure, and the feeling of being home. Years that taught me the real meaning of unconditional love and friendship. He knew me more than anyone else. He was my first boyfriend. He was my comfort zone. He was my person. I will always have love for him. Like any other relationship, we tried our best to make it work. We have been drifting apart for a while now, and we ultimately had to accept that we can't go back to where we used to be. It just wouldn't be fair to pretend that everything is still the same. This past few months have been tough, but thank you for giving us the time we need to process the pain and finally face the elephant in the room. Our last story began with respect and ended with respect. Catherine also addressed Catnail fans directly in her statement, and it reads, Catnails, we know you are hurting, and trust me, this also hurts us both more than you can imagine. The last thing we want is for this family to break apart with everyone taking sides. Please don't. DJ and I will continue to support each other as we try to heal and move forward from this. We will continue to love you and make you proud, but we hope you understand that this is something we really need. We hope you can join us in the healing process and not let those precious memories go to waste. Kaya nothing too. She ended the statement with a direct message to Daniel. DJ, you gave me 11 beautiful years and the kind of love that I will forever cherish. I will always be grateful. Soon after Catherine uploaded her post, Daniel responded with his own photo and statement on Instagram. In which he wrote, Thank you for dancing with me during my highs, and thank you for singing with me during my lows. Our lives may drift away, but our love will still ride that tide. He also wrote to Catnails as translated, Catnails, thank you for our wonderful time together. It's going to be hard, but we need to embrace the future. Bal, my love for you is boundless. This is the most shocking and painful end of the era for Cardinal and the forever love between Daniel and Catherine after 11 years of love and dedication together. Cardinal fans are so heartbroken and disturbed about this news because Cardinal was one of the best and formidable love teams in the Philippines and we always saw a forever in them. We pray all broken hearts get healed as we wish Catherine and Daniel the best in their solo endeavors. What did you like the most about Catnail? What was your favorite Catnail movie? And what are you going to miss the most about Catnail as they part ways? Thanks so much for watching. Kindly don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe to meet in the next one. I love you and it's bye for now.